some good sticky mud. Hey, welcome back to Vancouver Carpenter. Vancouver used to be a carpenter. Um, today I want to show you guys how and when to add glue to drywall mud because it's something I talk a lot about in the videos and I did make a video but it's way buried back in like some of my oldest videos. Um, I think adding glue to mud is super important but you need to know when because it's not necessary in a lot of cases. So one of the times I add glue to mud and one of the most important times in my opinion is when doing repairs. So I just posted a video of repairing a settlement crack. Now in that video we show how the joint has been like hollowed out, there's no mud in there. So I love to add glue in that situation to really bind those two boards together and to really glue that tape down. So that's one of my favorite times is just to make sure that everything is super strong so that it stands a good chance of not cracking down the road or at least not for a very long time. Okay, so the second time that I add glue, and this one's really important, is when I'm going over a painted surface, especially say in a bathroom, maybe it's got a gloss, like I, right here is a little bit flatter, but right here is a pretty glossy bathroom paint. So in the past, as a young buck, mixing up quick set and trying to get the jobs done quickly, not adding any glue because I'd never heard of it, there was a few occasions where I actually had the mud delaminate, especially on a glossy surface. So some people would say, well, you just gotta sand it. And I would say, not good enough. I want 100% guaranteed. I don't think just sanding one of these greasy, glossy surfaces is gonna be good enough. So I like to add glue. Um, that is definitely, that's the main reason why I started doing it is because of having quick set patches delaminate off the wall. So I never add glue to regular pre-mix mud. So we're talking the stuff in the bucket here, your regular all purpose, all purpose light or taping mud. It's got enough glue in it. I have never had it come off of a painted surface. I don't add glue to those muds and I find it usually has enough mud in it to glue the joints pretty well, especially a taping mud or a heavyweight all purpose. So that pretty much covers the when to add glue to your quick set. It's basically when you're concerned about adhesion. So let's go outside. We're going to mix some up. I'll show you guys how I do it. So not every mud needs glue added to it. I mentioned that I generally only add it to quick set to powdered muds because they tend to lack good adhesion as a general rule. Some brands, however, have excellent adhesion. Hamilton has a great line of products that I've actually never had to add glue to. I've done whole jobs for years without adding glue. That mud is almost foolproof. This brand, Certain Teed, this is the one where I've had multiple patches fall off and will never use it without glue. So these brands are mostly only available in Canada. Hamilton does have a US line. I think they are actually a US company that branched into Canada. But what I'm saying here is you're going to need to know your locally available products. And if just for insurance, you aren't sure whether or not your quick set has good adhesion, it's not gonna hurt to add some glue for your pre-fill and taping coats. Again, because I've had this particular product fail multiple times, I will be adding glue to it to ensure that it stays on the wall and doesn't impede my progress. So in terms of adding glue, what kind of glue? I get this question all the time, what kind of glue? Basically, just wood glue. You can use actual wood glue. Even though this says Type Bond 3, you can, hear I have, you can see I have a different color lid on here. This is your regular old Type Bond 1 in this. Regular wood glue, nothing fancy. What I usually use is Weld Bond, which is just it's like a wood glue. It's a PVA glue, polyvinyl acetate. Uh, fillers, joint compound. One of the main ingredients is vinyl. PVA glue is the binding ingredient in mud, so that's why I choose a product that is basically the same. We're just adding a little bit more of the same. So what I do is I have this stuff really thinned down. This has at least 50% water in here. But just to show you guys how you can, instead of carrying a huge jug around of super diluted glue that you're not going to be able to use for anything else, I'm going to show you how you can really quickly make it out of just regular old carpenter's glue on site. So that's why I brought this. And what you might want is a plastic water bottle or something like that. But because we're here on the West Coast, I only have empty kombucha bottles. 
But anyways, it's pretty easy to do this, you guys. So just gonna get a little bit of this. I'm gonna throw a little bit of water in here. So the reason we have to mix it with water first is because it won't disperse. It won't mix into your mixing water if you do this all in the pan. So I'm probably, maybe you wanna come up close and get a good shot of this. So I'm probably adding, I'd say it's about a 50-50 mix here. And I, I'm sure I don't need all this glue. I'm just doing it for the sake of the video. But we give it a good mix here. And now it's gonna really easily mix into the water in our pan. Yeah, that's nice. So you can do this while mixing your mud, mixing quick set with a drill and a paddle. I have a drill and a paddle right here, but we're not mixing enough to need to do that. And it would be the same thing. Thin your mud down to about 50% and then put it into your mix water in the bucket and spin it all up. But this is what I think most people are gonna be doing on site is just a small amount. And yep, there's other ways to mix this stuff, but I just like the old school, bringing less tools on the job, tried and true method. So I was almost forgetting here to put my water in. You're gonna to wanna to come up close and get a look at this. So as we can see, because it's been diluted, it mixes perfectly in there. And I'm adding a fair bit, a little more than I need to. But I would say when you're done, you should have about a 10% glue ratio to your water. So like a 10 to one. And that'll improve adhesion greatly. Sometimes when I'm doing stress cracks or things that I'm just worried might crack down the road, I'll add more glue. I might get up to like a 25% glue ratio to the mixed water. But then it starts getting more difficult to work with. It gets really sticky and gummy and I think it also it doesn't necessarily impede the set time, but I wonder if it changes how it dries. I always like to have a little brush on hand to add some water real quickly where needed. So it's pretty straightforward. At this point, it's just mixing. And I think I've done videos on how to mix drywall mud by hand. I do find the glue makes it stay a little bit lumpier but it's not a big deal. We're just taping. We don't need it to be perfectly smooth. If I needed a big, perfectly smooth mix, I'd use some sort of a mixing paddle. This is gonna be good enough for what we're doing. That is how and when to add glue to your mix. So the reason that I added glue today is because we are going over a painted surface and I'm taping with paper drywall tape. So uh, taping with paper drywall tape, I didn't mention that earlier, but Taping with paper and quick set can be a little trickier and the glue does help get better adhesion to that tape. Oh, another thing that I haven't mentioned, but for sure it'll be somewhere, is technically adding glue to your mud voids the warranty. <laughs> but honestly, if you're just taping like a bathroom's worth of drywall, <laughs> you're not gonna get anything warrantied. It's not gonna be worth your time if the mud fails. I mean, what are you going to do? Call the CGC rep in because you got a blister in your tape? Like, honestly, you guys. The warranty thing is for like massive companies doing high rises and they get like a, you know, a full pallet of mud that's just off. Like the tape's not sticking or there's some major problem with it. Like the warranty in mud is not for everyday small job and homeowner use. It's for large jobs where the difference in quality actually impacted them on a massive scale. And all they will do is just replace the actual mud that was used. It's not like they're gonna pay for all the extra time and labor to go and redo all the work. Like that whole voiding the warranty thing is kind of just what smart asses say in the comments because they know a thing. Well done. Oh, I promised myself I wasn't gonna to respond to comments, but I knew that one would come up because it always does. <laughs> Anyways, that's it. Time to tape something. What to do when you didn't put enough water in your mud. There's some water.
Just don't do this too long after mixing. It's known as re-tempering your mix, not good. Okay, there's a couple other times that's really important to add glue to your quick set. I find that you don't always get good adhesion on screws. So screws is one place and on steel corner beads. That's another thing that can definitely help to have the extra adhesion of glue in your quick set. Don't worry, I'll make sure I get lots of mud in here for you too. <laughs> What was that? I could have sworn I just heard somebody yelling to take the plugs out, Ben. I don't know. I'll probably be done this by the time I find out what they're really saying. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope your project's going well, but I hope you're doing even better. I feel like this box doesn't have enough mud in it yet. I'm working on it though. A couple more coats, it should be nice and full.